in Huddersfield. Thank you. Thank you. Charles Barra. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker, and it is a great privilege and honour to congratulate Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth on her Platinum Jubilee on behalf of my constituents of North West Cambridgeshire. On a tour of Africa, the then 21-year-old Princess Elizabeth took a vow. That has been referred to by earlier speakers. And taking that vow, she declared, I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be dedicated to your service. Mr Deputy Speaker, Her Majesty has truly kept that vow. With her matchless sense of duty, she has worked tirelessly and given the nation and the Commonwealth 70 years of dedicated service. And throughout that period, until very recently, she had the unwavering support by her side of His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. During Her Majesty's reign, there have been 14 UK Prime Ministers, the first being Sir Winston Churchill. There have been 14 US Presidents, starting with Harry S. Truman, and Pope Pius XII was the first of seven Popes. There have also been ten speakers, beginning with William Morrison, covering 19 Parliaments. And in 1952, there were only eight Commonwealth countries compared to the 54 that we now have. It has been an extraordinary reign during which our country and the world has witnessed enormous change. To put matters into perspective, I was born in Kakira in Uganda at a time when Uganda was still part of the British Empire. My family arrived here in the 60s and now I, the son of an immigrant carpenter, proudly stand in this house, paying tribute to Her Majesty on behalf of my constituents from North West Cambridgeshire. Compared to 1952, there are now in the UK more opportunities for people to rise as far as their talent and ability will take them. More opportunities for education, home ownership, better health, more leisure time, and more prosperity generally. And of course, as has been referred to by previous speakers, we are a much more diverse nation. Diversity of race, diversity of faith, and diversity of culture. And through it all, Her Majesty has provided continuity, a platinum thread through the decades, a voice for good whose advice has been sought by world leaders across the four corners of the world. <coughs> Her Majesty has also played a crucial constitutional role. She has been the guarantor of the constitutional integrity of our nation, providing stability and constancy throughout the decades. On a more local level, my constituency is relatively new, having been formed in 1997. It comprises the southern part of Peterborough and a hundred or so villages, including many in the northern part of Huntingdonshire. Records show that in 1978, Her Majesty visited the National Shire Horse Society Centenary Show at All Walton. She opened the Peterborough Building Society's head office at Lynchwood in 1988. And in 1991, there were traffic hold-ups as 3,000 extra visitors tried to see the Queen at the East of England show. Moreover, in June 2012, Her Majesty was the guest of Lady Victoria and Mr Simon Leatham, marking the Queen's Diamond Jubilee picnic at Burley House, when some 7,000 people came along to enjoy music and aerial displays. My constituency has changed in many ways in the past 70 years. A large part of it, the Peterborough part, was until 1974 part of Northamptonshire. However, whilst much has changed, 
during Her Majesty's reign, some things are timeless. And I'm sure that were T.S. Eliot alive today, he would agree that the village of Little Gidding, of Four Quartets fame, is the same now as it was in 1945 when he published his poem. And something else that is timeless is the love and affection that my constituents feel for Her Majesty. Sir John Colville spoke for many when he said in his book, The Elizabethans, and I quote, in an age of melting convictions and questionable needs, the Queen's unassuming virtues and faultless example have stood out like a rock in a sea of troubles. My congratulations again, and thank you, Your Majesty, for a lifetime of service to our nation and the Commonwealth. Yeah. Yeah.